What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dairy and His Fishing. One thing that y'all quickly realize is different about me is I got my braces on. And so far I really hate them. Um, yeah, they actually suck. Uh, I hurt really bad. It's weird to talk in them. Can't eat anything. My teeth are sore. So one thing you're about to notice, I shot a video on all this stuff. I unboxed it all. I went to edit the video and then I realized the audio in the intro sucked. So I'm redoing it right now. So without further ado, this is going to be an unboxing video. My first ever package from Sixth Sense. There's a lot of stuff back there. Um, I don't want to do any more talking. This is going to be a pretty long video around 30 minutes or so 35, I think. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone. This is in no way bragging. This is no way cocky. I'm extremely grateful to be able to have that back there. Um, and I know that the only way I've got it is because of you guys. I work really, really hard at this, but without you, there would be no this. So seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thanks to everyone who's done anything to help me on my channel and to pay all of you back. Well, not all of you, but to pay some of you back, I've done something. Um, this is out of my pocket. This isn't, I wasn't given this stuff because that was the original order. I bought a dozen of these packs of Divine Shaky Heads. Bought a dozen of those, 5 8 ounce. That's the ones that I use on Gunnersville. And I bought a dozen of these, C20, uh, these C20s. All the same color, lavender, uh, lavender citrus. And those are that's my favorite crankbait by Six Cents. This is my favorite stand-up head. So anyhow, I'm giving 12 of these away. So I'm gonna put one and one together. I'm gonna pack them up like this. Send them to 12 of you. The way to win this stuff is, you must be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment anything below. So again, you must be subscribed, comment anything below about fishing at all, and like this video. If the comment's negative, I'm blocking you from this pay for my channel completely. Um, so yeah, keep the negative stuff somewhere else. Um, but yeah, cool opportunity to win, I don't know, I think these are four or five bucks. These are nine bucks, so 15 bucks. But I bought a dozen of them, so I spent a little bit of coin. But I just wanted to give back. Y'all have helped me out a ton. I want to help you out. So, anyhow, jump into this unboxing video and uh, yeah, we'll see you then. All right, here we go. Got the box of stuff. Gonna strap this chesty on just like every good YouTuber should have. Is a chesty with a GoPro on it. Third up, I guess. These brand new Six Cents bait bags. Um, I actually opened one of them already. So basically, it's a, I guess, a canvas bag. It's got a kind of a rubbery. I don't know if it's. Can, I'm gonna say that it's canvas, but it kind of feels, kind of feels rubbery. Really, really tough feeling. Um, uh, I think, I don't know exactly what, it's, it's like a tent material inside. I don't really know what that's called either, but anyhow, put your packs of worms in there, packs of Ned Head or Ned Worms, and I'll have them all, you know, if, if it, it's just say if this was my Ned Worm bag, I would have all of those Ned Worms in here. I might write Ned Worm or whatever on the top, TRD or whatever I wanted to write on them. Uh, but that, uh, well, wow, that's still got a lot of space. Then they can hold about 15 bags, I think is what um, someone said. So anyhow, I got black and I got gray. And I'll probably separate them like the stuff that I use the most, you know, like a big worms, jig trailers, some of those things I'll keep in gray. And then the stuff I might not use as much, um, extra packs of hooks, maybe line. I bet you could fit, oh yeah. You're gonna be able to fit six. These are still in the pack. All right, there's six extremely easily. I'm gonna say you could fit two, you could fit two bulk spools, like the big giant spools. I mean, that still has, well, I'll zip it up. That's six packs, two of them, or three of them are still in the pack. And there's still plenty of like, it's there's still a lot of room in here. I bet you could fit, if you did it right, I bet you could fit 10 packs of line, you know, spools of line in this thing. That's definitely what I'll do. All right, so there's the bait bags. Got black, 
Okay, Gray. These two provoke jerk baits that I bought, these are actually from the custom shop. This wasn't actually part of my order. I just bought them recently um, because they were, I love the jerk bait. And actually I bought these before I even had this deal. I didn't even know I was gonna get the deal. Um, I had already bought these jerk baits. So that's kind of cool. Um, provoke, actually I don't even think this has a color. I think it was co named color. Yeah, I think that might be the color. P106-1, I don't know if that's a, I don't know, I just like the color a lot. I love this jerkbait that Provoke is a really, really good jerkbait. I've used it in the past, I have a lot of them, so. I went ahead and bought them. Those are actually $25 a piece. They're hand painted by the owner of Six Cents. So that's really neat. Now let's dive up into goodies. Oh man, oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of freaking stuff in. These are not the actual ones. I personally bought the ones I'm giving away, but remember I'm giving away 12 of these and 12 of these I'm gonna put a pack together, put this in the mail, send it to 12 people, just as a way of saying thanks to everyone for uh, subscribing to my channel and since I lied to everyone about what I actually use, which is this. So comment below, like this video for a chance to win some of these. But let's get back to the action. I'm gonna try to start with the square bills, which is the Crush 50. So the name of their square bills are Crush. Um, I don't know exactly like if that's, I don't have a Crush 50, a Crush 100, and a Crush 75. So I'm thinking that, I'm pretty sure that Crush is their square bills. They have a Crush X and a Crush S. X is the regular, like it's got a rattle inside of it. S is for the silent. They have a 100 on both and a 50 on both. So quickly, here's a couple colors. These three are Shad Sense, Ghost Bone Minnow, Thread Fin Flash. Shad Sense, Ghost Bone Minnow, Thread Fin Flash. This is Shad Trance, and this is Copper Green Shad. Copper Green Shad is a really, really old school fish catching color. Um, I don't know what bait company like first made it. This is actually not a, this is not like the original Copper Green Chad. It's actually a really good version of it. I haven't seen that one before. Um, yeah, both awesome, really, really awesome colors. I'm just gonna keep moving along. This one is called Crawl Bomb, and it's like just a really, really explosive, sparkly, very shiny crawfish color. It's a little translucent, actually. It is translucent. I mean, you can kind of see through. I would say it's not translucent. Freaking sick color. That's a Gunnersville killer for like this, the late fall, winter, and like early spring, that really, really cold time. Woo! Some heat right here. All right, this one is called Gold Reactor. I love this one. Ghost Bone Minnow is so far my favorite color that I've opened and Shad Sense. Shad Sense is a sick color too. This is Ghost Bone Minnow. And I'm not gonna lie, that is one of the coolest crankbait colors that I've ever seen. No lie. So it's got the shad like kind of green hue on top. Then it goes to a blue and like to a, like a shiny, not, it's like kind of red hue kind of on the middle, but it's not really red. And then like this shad olive color on the bottom. Don't know how well that's gonna show up, but super, super freaking cool color right there. And again, that is Ghost Bone Minnow. Next two up, we got Bluegill Fire. We got Chartreuse and Black, or they call it Chartreuse Black Back. That's like the most OG color of all time, Chartreuse and Black. If you throw a square bill, you've got Chartreuse and Black. If you don't have a Chartreuse and Black square bill, then you definitely need to. I don't, honestly don't throw a lot of bluegill color square wheels, but I know that they work really, really well. I just never have like the lakes we fish. It's like really, really, really dominant on shad. So all the colors of everything I throw is shad colors. I don't throw brim color uh, crankbaits just because I just always throw them shad colors. But I know that they freaking catch them, so I got several of them to try out. All right, another chartreuse and black, so I got three of that one. Here's another brim color. This one is Backwater Bluegill. I've seen a lot about that one. Another really cool bluegill color. And that is a 
freaking good looking color right there. Ghost thread fin shad. All in the 50X square bill. Oh, okay, so right off the top, here's another crush. This one's supermodel shad. Now I'll go up a size to the Crush 100. So the Crush 100, uh, just quickly I'll go over the colors. Threadfin Flash. Oh, this one right here is legit. That one's Rayburn Ghost. A lot of history about that color right there, out on Rayburn. Gizzard Spawn. Juicy, juicy, juicy color. Threadfin Flash. Chartreuse Black Back. Uh, Gizzard Spawn. Gizzard Spawn. So I'm going to open one of the 100s and one of the 50s just to show a size comparison. I'm going to imagine like comparing this to like a Lucky Craft or something. I'm going to imagine this is like a 1.5 and a 2.5. And it actually looks like a 1.5 and a 2.0. It doesn't even look like so this one is a Crush 50X. This is a Crush 100X. You can see the size difference. Looks like they're about a half inch longer. This one, this the the, the bigger one weighs 5 8 The smaller one weighs 3 8 And this one is 68 millimeters. This one is 60 millimeters. Um, so yeah, little subtle differences. I think probably the majority of the time I'm going to reach for the 100. Just because I'm on Gunnersville. We have bigger fish and bigger shad. So I would normally reach for this one. Maybe like in the fall when fish get a little bit more finicky, I'll probably reach for the 50. It's not like, it's not too small. It's the right size, but at Gunnersville, I just catch myself throwing a little bit bigger size um, if I'm throwing something compared to these two. We did the comparison with the 100 and the 50. Now we're gonna show a bait that I know a lot about, which is the Crush flat 75x i'm just gonna scoot these over with these the crush is 75 flat x 75 is the size the crush means it's a square bill um and the x is a you know it's a regular like rattling version and this is a flat side so for those of you who don't know about a flat sided crankbait um they're really good in the extreme weather conditions so when it's really, really cold or really, really hot, a square bill crankbait, a flat sided square bill crankbait does really well. It's called a flat side because it has two big, really flat sides. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, um, got a lot tighter wobble. This color is Jungle Rose. This is a very, very popular uh, late, like wintertime, early springtime color. And uh, especially on Gunnersville, they really, really eat it. Anywhere that has grass, these bright colors, these bright reds tend to do well. Um, so that's Jungle Rose. Here is Bluegill Spawn, Baby Bluegill, and Bluegill Fire. So on the top, Bluegill Fire. Middle one, Baby Bluegill. Bottom one, Bluegill Spawn. Again, I said I don't throw a lot of bluegill crankbaits. One thing I'm gonna challenge myself to is start throwing them a lot more. Um, shad spawn, I'm sorry, bluegill spawn around the full moons. So, especially like that, the late spring and the summertime bluegill spawns, bluegill baits do really, really, really well. Um, one problem is a lot of times when the bluegill spawn, fish are out deep in the summertime, and I catch myself fishing for them out deep instead of beating the bank and throwing bluegill stuff. Um, also got another really, really good looking crankbait. Actually, another one of my favorite, the, one of the best colors I've seen yet, called Shad Greens. Um, I'll open this one up. Shad color body, green on the top, and kind of that green uh, honeycomb pattern on the top, very, very top with an orange nose. Very, very good looking color. Let's do the curves. All right, so the curve is a very wide wobbling, um, gonna be similar to the old wiggle wart. Um, I have never thrown this bait. Dives five to nine feet. Very small, compact. Um, crankbait. It's got a pointed kind of a teardrop shape. The body is kind of the shape of a teardrop with the skinny part being in the very back. 
and it's got a round bill. All of this combined, round bill that gets narrow, a really wide head to a tight body, I mean to a tight tail, gives this bait a really, really wide wobble. Um, made to be cranked really, really slow. You don't want to burn this thing. You want to throw it around rocks. Um, not really great in grass. It's going to be really, really wide. You want it bouncing off of rocks. Maybe crawl it up, you know, crawl it around some wood. This bait is going to work perfect. Um, kind of designed for cold months. Um, you know, especially when the water temp, especially when the water gets muddy. You want something that's moving really, really wide that way, and it's got a rattle in it. So not only is this bait moving really, really wide, throwing off a big vibration, but it's got that knocking sound, so fish can track it easily. Um, works really, really good. Probably excels the most in ultra clear water, actually, and that's why I got some of these natural colors, like uh, this one here is called Ozark Crawl. More of a really, really natural color. But I also got some really, really bright colors for when the water gets muddy, like this one, which is Jungle Rose. So yeah, there's the Curve 55. This one is Delta Crawl. Again, red works really good on Gunnersville. Anywhere there's grass. Uh, here, I'll go to the next color. I got three of those Jungle Rose. And I got three of Delta Crawl. And I got three of uh, Ozark Crawl. Ozark Crawl is a really natural watermelon color, like a crawfish color with a bright orange tail. And we'll talk more about, we'll go into more depth on all this stuff, like when it's the appropriate time of year and I'm actually using them. Just wanted to go through quickly through this box. I'll do the jerk baits. Jerk bait is called Provoke with six cents. All right, let's start this out with Shad Burst. I don't know anything about this color. All right. Almost looks black from afar, but when you look close, it's got a green shiny on top with black. Then it goes to like a silver mirror color. The bottom is translucent. The very, very bottom is like an opaque kind of shiny shad translucent color. Got three shad bursts. They're also low on stock right now. Um, this one is called Violet Panda. Kind of a crazier color. Gonna be good for when this water stained. Uh, pink on top, kind of pink purplish, shad in the middle, and chartreuse on the very bottom with a kind of a gold head. Random color, but works very well in stained water. Then this is actually my favorite, my, this is one of my favorite baits that Six Sense makes. Um, Let me see if I'm... This is the bait that I've won some money on in the, uh, in the uploaded fishing deal. This is chrome thread fin. It's a really cool shad color. Got a blue kind of a uh, little bit translucent color on the top. Got a gold, I mean a, not gold, chartreuse striped on the side. The middle, you know, the middle to bottom section is kind of a mirror reflector, like mirror reflective color. And then the very bottom is that opaque shad kind of reflecty shiny color. My favorite color jerk bait that Six Sense makes currently. But that's all I had. That's all I ordered right there. They didn't have a lot of them in stock. I'll order more as it, uh, you know, as it gets cooler and they get some more things in stock. Oh, there's another crush. Hey, that's a sick color right there. Mud bug red. That's one I forgot to pull out with the Crush 100. That's a freaking good Gunnersville color right there. Mud bug red. That's gonna get a lot of playing time this year. All right, next up I'm gonna do the movement. L7 and Movement 80X. So the Movement L7 is a bait I know a little bit about. I know that it was designed, it's kind of like a big square bill. When I say big, I mean long. Um, it's got an odd shape. Um, it's kind of a, you can see it's longer. It's a square bill crankbait, but this bait hunts on its own. So when you're throwing a square bill and your bait hits off something and it flexes and it jumps over a rock or it hits a stump and it jumps over the side and comes back. A lot of times, that deflection where it jumps over is when you get your bite. So this bait was designed to never just run straight back to you. Instead, it's always hunting. It'll run off to the side and come back. It'll bounce over to the side and come back. So when it's, when it's coming back to you the whole time, it does random things. Like it jumps side to side, but it triggers a lot of bites. And this is a secret, not secret bait, but 
This is a secret among a lot of pros. If you look at their cranking boxes, you will see this bait in a lot of pros boxes that they do not talk about. So I got that in three colors. Uh, this one is lavender citrus, chartreuse black, and shad truce. ADX is very similar, uh, but the good thing about this ADX is it does really good around grass. It catches a lot of giants, and it's got that really, really loud knocking sound. So it does really good around grass. Kind of got that same kind of hunting action random. It has a round bill. Um, really good, erratic, crazy crankbait. Going to do a lot with this this fall and early next spring. Um, they didn't have all the colors in of it, so I only got two, but definitely going to be getting a lot more of these. Um, but the two colors that I got were Shad Craft and Shad Scales. All right, this is the Cloud9 Mini Mag. So they have a Magnum crankbait, like a giant one. This is the one smaller than it. It's called the Mini Mag. Uh, dives three to six feet, weighs seven eighths of an ounce, almost an ounce. It's just a really big square bill. In size, in size comparison, the 100X and the Mini Mag. Mini Mag is significantly larger. Um, I'm gonna say it's almost an inch, if not a full inch longer. Um, it's bigger, it's much heavier. It's got bigger hooks. It's a lot more buoyant probably. This is a bait that I'm gonna throw a lot. I like this size square bill. Chartreuse and black, fluoride fin flash. That's a freaking really awesome color, by the way. Thread fin flash. And this one is that crawl bomb. Very sparkly, very red, very crawl color. Gonna be awesome. So the only terminal tackle I bought was the Divine Underspins. I only bought half ounce, and I also only bought blueback herring. So I got three packs of half ounce Divine Underspins, all blueback herring. An underspin is a really, really good lure for um, putting a swim bait on the back of them and cast out, let it fall to the bottom, reel it back. You can throw it in school and fish. You can throw it on fish that are on the bottom. You can. It works really well fishing for suspended fish. Um, underspin, really, really awesome. This divine one's got a good, got a really cool shaped, like shad shaped head. Divine Magnum shaky head got a gigantic hook in it um i got black i got five eighths ounce those are the only ones i throw on gunner's wool i'll throw a green pumpkin but they were actually out of them it's got a screw lock got a vertical line tie um, which is important because you don't get it hung up a lot and it's got a flat bottom flat bottom means that uh you, it'll stand up straight on the bottom keep your worm sanding straight up off of the bottom all right so we got two top waters this is their biggest two they make. Um, this is called the Mag Dog. M A G D O G. Mag Dog. This is the Mag Dog 130. This is a big top water. This is uh, going to be very loud. I can tell that. It's got a one knocker in it. Very, very loud weight transfer and one knocker system. It's 1.2 ounces. And it is 130 millimeters, so don't know exactly know how many inches, but big top water. Um, I would say this is going to be good in most of the country. Gunnersville, this isn't even too big. I'm going to show you now the Mag Dog 150. This is the Mag Dog 150. Very, very loud. It's giant. Um, it weighs an ounce and a half. It's 150 millimeters. Um, significantly bigger, significantly bulkier than its little brother. Let's see if you can see this very good. A lot bigger. And there you go. 130, 150. Mag Dog 130. Mag Dog 150. There's that. Ghost Hot Herring is one of the 150s that I got. Thread Fin Flash is the other one that I got. So I got two of those, or I got four of those, two of each color. And these I got Ghost Hot Herring. That's definitely my favorite color so far. Ghost Hot Herring. And I got 4K Shad. Really good looking Shad color there. All right, so now it's finally time to get to 
the Cloud 9 series, which is the most, my favorite series, the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Um, I'm gonna start with the six. The Cloud 9 C6 weighs one and a half, or, I'm sorry, weighs a half ounce, dives four to eight feet, a small, smaller crankbait, um, dives four to six feet, really, really awesome paint job. It's got super sticky black nickel hooks. All of their baits have some of the best treble hooks that come stock. They're black nickel. Um, it's not like a brand, it's just good. Uh, I'm gonna leave one of each of these out as I go. This one's called Chartreuse Spank. Just chartreuse with a blue top. This one's called Shad Sense. That is a really, really awesome color. There's another Shad Truce. Shad Sense. And another Chartreuse Spank. So I got three colors in that one. Three of each, so that's nine total. Now let's look at the C10s. Lavender Citrus. So this is my favorite bait. This is a good one. This one dives eight to 12 feet, so it's a little bigger. I'll compare the size of all of them at the very end. Um, it's five eighths of an ounce, it's a little bigger than a half, and uh, got some really good colors. Supermodel Shad, Tennessee Citrus Shad. That one's kind of like a, um, that one's cool. It's kind of got a, it's got a purplish top, brown top, you know, brown top of the side, shad color middle, and a citrus and orange color belly. There, here's a good shot of the belly you can see. See there, that's a good shot of that Tennessee citrus shad. That's the belly of it. All right, now for the C15. C15 is where it starts getting fun. This crankbait dives 12 to 19 feet. It's one ounce, you can bomb it a mile, make a long cast, um, and it's gonna get down deep. It's uh, got super good hooks, that black nickel hook and um, really awesome crankbait. I have that one tied on a lot now, and this is actually the one, no, that wasn't it. This one. That's the one that Philip gave us. That one's Candy Citrus Shad, um, Tennessee River, deep ledge fishing. That's a staple when you're ledge fishing, that color. So we got that one. We got one that's blue on top, chartreuse sides. Uh, that's another staple. That's called Blue Truce Shad. Um, so very similar, but one's got chartreuse. Let me show you. One's got white sides and one's got chartreuse sides. Same top, one's got white, one's got chartreuse. Use this one more um, when the water gets a little bit muddier. I use this one a lot, all the time. So I got three of each of these. Also got Supermodel Shad. Just a, that's just a good all around shad color. Can't go wrong with it. Now for the beast. I got a lot of these because I use them a lot. Well, I haven't used them a lot. I only had two of them, but I've been trying to keep them a secret from y'all for a really, really long time. And it's actually worked pretty well. No one's called me out on it. I haven't had to film on it. But I got a lot of these. All right, let's talk about the C20. Let's pull. Let's pull this color. C20 weighs 1.6 ounces, so you need a little bit beefier rod for this. It dives 16 to 22 feet. I throw this on 12 pound line. You can make a cast a mile with this thing. It's gonna track pretty dang straight all the time. It, ref it deflects off cover really well. Uh, the weight transfer system puts the bait in the back. You know, when you throw a big crankbait and it does that big swirl as it's in the air and you backlash or you don't get the throw far, the six cents ones don't do that very often. This color is called Shad Truce. So it's got a shad kind of top into a white side, shad side, and a chartreuse belly. Again, this is my number one uh, this year has been, not the ones that I've filmed with, but the ones that I've caught fish with, um, off camera, like fun fishing. This has definitely been my number one crankbait. Um, so I've got Candy Citrus Shad. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of the Shad Truce. And I got six of my very favorite, all time best color cranking. 
lavender citrus. That's the ones I'm giving away next uh, next Monday. C20 lavender citrus. Freaking really, really, really great color. And now for his older brother, Cloud9 C25. This is similar to a 10XD size crankbait. Um, honestly, I've never had one of these. I know that a lot of people catch fish on them. I'm very excited to throw them. Unfortunately, we're coming to the end of cranking season, um, so I won't get to use them a ton this year as much as I'm going to next year, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull one out. There we go, beast of a crankbait. This is the C25. It dives 18 to 25 foot. They also, you can hear they got that, they got that deep one knocker sound in them. They also make this C25 in a silent version as well. So now I'm gonna compare. So I got candy citrus shad in that one. Got three of those. I got two blue truce sheds and I got three lavender citrus sheds. Now I wanna show a comparison. So here they all kinda of are lined up together. C25 dives to 26 foot, C20 dives to 22 foot, C15 dives to 19 foot, C10 dives to 12 foot, and the C6 dives down to eight foot. That's the maximum depths on these baits. Super good, like I said, all of them have a weight transfer system that allows you to make a really, really long cast. They don't helicopter bat at all. They run really true all the time. You don't have to work on tune them all the time. If you do have to tune them, they pretty much stay tuned. It's not one of those crankbaits that is often having to be tuned. So anyhow, wanted to show all of this to you, not to brag at all. Um, because I'm gonna start working with Six Cents. I wanted all of you to know exactly what it is I'm using. My first look at all this stuff, and this is just my first order, so I'm very excited about getting more of it in. Um, over the year, I'm gonna keep continuing to spread the love with all you guys and give back to you because y'all are the ones who've made me get to this point where I can have all this stuff and be able to do unboxings and get to fish with all these new really awesome lures. And so, I just want to give back and so that's why the first thing that I'm doing is I bought a dozen of these and a dozen of these to give back to you. To win them all you have to do like this video and drop a comment down below anything about bass fishing at all and I'm going to pick 12 winners send y'all uh, some baits just because. But yeah that's all this video is going to be simply an unboxing video of nothing else. So thanks to everyone who's watched this video if you enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions about anything that I opened, if you if there's something that you catch fish on that you think I should try out, or maybe that you haven't used yet that you think I should try out to see if you should buy it. Drop a comment down below, I'll order it, um, I'll get it in and test. If there's anything I can do to help you guys catch more fish, I would love to do it. So drop a comment down below, just let me know whatever it is, anything at all, let me know. Um, but for now, I'm gonna wrap this video up just by saying thanks to everyone. And if you want to shop on SixCentsLures.com, save yourself 10% off by using my code DC10 when you check out. Again, that's DC10 when you check out on SixCentsLures.com. And until next time, I'll see you later.